Thanks for doing this, mate. No um, firstly, I, I just want to know, am I chatting to a key defender or forward now? Who, who am I talking to? <laughs> it's uh, been a fascinating few weeks. Yeah, it's been, uh, been fun, mate, uh, going up forward. I think me and Danny um, played the last few years down back, and um, I think a good coach comes in, mate, and realises after three weeks that I've uh, got a bit of talent to go up forward. So, <laughs> no, I've been loving it, mate, and enjoying it, and uh, hopefully can keep a few more snags this weekend against the Gold Coast. Yeah. How did it actually come about that you actually play up forward for Melbourne? Not sure, mate. Um, I've been popping myself up to Ruzi and a few of the boys, and I could go forward if you want me to. Uh, more, more as a joke. And uh, then uh, one, one meeting one day, we're all sitting in there, and um, I think we lost to West Coast, had a pretty heavy loss, and it uh, wasn't a great um, game for the boys in the club. Um, he just said, hey, Chipper, um, what do you feel about playing forward, mate? And I got a bit, went a bit red and blushed a little bit and didn't know what to say. And uh, he goes, well, it's happened this week, mate. And uh, yeah, I was just real, real shocked my system and uh, yeah, but really uh, look forward to the challenge and I've uh, been loving it the last two weeks. Yeah. What's it like when you, you're training as a key defender for pretty much the whole <coughs> summer and the first two games and then all of a sudden you're going up forward? And I mean, how does, as an AFL player, how does, how does that sort of come about and I mean, how do you react to it? Uh, yeah, like I said, I was in a bit of a shock for the first couple of days and I think the first few nights I couldn't really get to sleep very quickly. I was thinking about uh, how to play a forward role and if I was going to be any good at it or if I was going to be no good and um, but yeah, like I said I just went out there and just tried to do my role for the team and um, luckily, lucky enough on the weekend I got on, got on the end of a few nice kicks from the boys down back. Um, but yeah, it was just a bit of a shock and um, I suppose when you're AFL player you've got to adapt to these situations and um, I think there's been a few players in the system these days like Harry Taylor, um, back in the day like Adam Hunter and stuff, the, the swing man they go forward and go back. Um, wouldn't classify myself as that, but no, just uh, hopefully you can keep uh, doing whatever Rizzi wants me to do, and if he wants to play forward, happy to play forward, he wants to play back, happy to play back, mate, so, uh, but yeah, whatever the team needs, I'm happy to do. Let's, let's be honest, I think I see myself as a defender, and um, I played 120 odd games as a defender, and played two as a forward, so not getting ahead of myself, mate, not a, not a key forward yet, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm just happy to fill the role, um, whatever Rizzi wants me to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, I think I'm a, still a key, key back, mate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, it's obviously been a pretty interesting couple of weeks, not only on the field, but off the field. I mean, you, your name's been bandied around so mm. much with uh, contracts, speculation and, and figures and that sort of thing. Um, um, first of all, how are you handling all that talk um, surrounding your future post this season? Well, mate, the papers can say what they want, really, mates. Um, you know what the boys think internally, the coaches and the, and, your, and your mates. Um, a lot of close mates at the club, and um, yeah, but it's just the papers write what they want to write, and there's really no accountability to no, no accountability to what they write. And um, like last week with the with the dollars on my head and stuff, I don't know where that come from. Um, Hundred grand, I'd be happy with that, mates. So, <laughs> big money, but yeah, that's definitely not true. So yeah. Yeah. How do you go about it when you when you're trying to play games and train and just, just organise your, I guess your weekly routine and, and the, the constant talk and speculation about it? I'll just try and go uh, about my business like I have every other year. I've been here for seven or eight years now, so I'm not a spring chicken anymore, mate. I'm getting pretty old and um, yeah, I'm just, I'll just go about my business like I have been in the last um, eight years and nothing's really changed. Um, just trying to have a bit of fun with the boys and mm. train hard and um, it doesn't really affect me what I read in the papers. I'll just try and stay clear of it. And, um, but it always comes back to you every now and again. Someone's talking about it or the boys are ripping into you a bit at training or something. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to do my own thing and um, stick to my routine and what works for me. Yeah. Interesting times in the AFL with free agency now. And, and you've obviously got to that point where you just are one. Um, do you really have to think about it? And as much as you might love the club and, mm. you know, love playing with the boys, just as a professional AFL player, you have to sort of stop and really consider your future? Is that, is that where you're sort of at? Well, you have to consider everything, mate. Um, I think these days it's more of a business. Um, you see players come in, they come in for two years and get the chop. Um, and players that have been around for a long time and um, been serviceable, serviceable for um, the club over many years, mm -hmm. um, once they're done, they're done. Um, but yeah, I'm just weighing up options um, with my family and friends and my girlfriend. But yeah, like I said, I love the club. Um, I bleed red and blue. Um, I love this place, I love my mates here. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, you just have to weigh up every option at the end of the year. So no decisions have, have been made or anything like that. I'm just, um, just trying to weigh up everything that's going to come ahead this year. Yeah. There's nothing better than a winning feeling like on the weekend, mate. And um, hopefully this young team we've got, um, we can get a few more wins and uh, boost their morale and um, hopefully give them a few more wins this year and um, give them a bit of a taste what success is actually like. And um, I'd like to be a part of that. And um, like I said, I'm just going to try and give my all for the Melbourne Footy Club. And, uh, and I love this place. So, yeah. Yeah. When, when do you think you'll make a decision? Do you think you'll make it during the season or do you think you'll wait until the end of the year? Well, I'm not really sure, mate. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to concentrate on footy. I haven't really decided much about anything, to be honest. I'm just trying to concentrate on trying to get a kick, um, trying to get back to some good form. Um, but yeah, probably realistically more end of the year. Um, but honestly, I haven't really thought about much at all. Um, I'm just trying to stay clear of all the politics stuff of footy and my manager and stuff to do what he wants to do. And um, I'll just try and concentrate on getting a kick. Yeah. yeah. Does Rosie have a chat to you and sort of uh, to perhaps guide you through you know, your future and what might be best for you? Oh, not really, mate. He's, just, uh, he's made it pretty clear to me that um, I'm an important player at the footy club and mm -hmm. um, that he uh, relishes, probably not the right word, but he um, I don't know, feels like I'm an important player for the, for the club um, and the team. Uh, but he hasn't really spoken about um, the contract or anything. He's, um, I think he's been around footy enough that, um, you know, just whatever happens happens and um, yeah, but he's been super for me uh, and, the, and the rest of the group he's been so um, positive with the boys especially young group has been um, really helpful for like like sort of Jack Watt and Jack Chengove and stuff but yeah, hopefully um, we can get a few more wins for him and um, keep his good uh, winning record yeah. good anyway yeah. we come in the club uh, I think we finished third or fourth in the ladder and I was thinking yeah beauty I mean nice club to come into and play finals the next five six years and um, really make a good good go of it and maybe win a premiership. Uh, didn't happen, which has uh, been frustrating. Uh, I think probably the last eight years have been pretty average, um, which has been very really frustrating for the players and the fans and everyone involved in the footy club. But um, yeah, I can definitely see um, positives coming out with the young group we've got uh, at the moment. Uh, we've made a lot of loose changes um, in the last few years. Um, but bringing blokes in like Bernie Vince and Dom Tyson, uh, Viv Mitchie, all these young blokes that are going to be good players. Well, mm. Bernie's not very young, but mm. still got a few years of footy left in him. Um, yeah, I'm just definitely positive uh, about the future, uh, especially Ruzi coaching. Um, he's been, like I said before, he's been really positive and mm. the boys really embrace him and, and uh, really enjoy his coaching style. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of talent in the footy club. Mm. Um, it's just getting their mental state right. Um, I think um, if we played our best footy week in, week out, we, we could match with anyone. But I think just um, like losing over the last few years, um, I think it's just taken a toll on the boys and the confidence has been a bit hit. But mm. uh, like on the weekend, if you play your role and you do all the hard things, you tackle your pressure, um, we're going to be right. Like, we're going to be competitive with any team we play in the competition. Yeah. Um, so definitely the future is going to be bright. And uh, this year was no really um, not, not counting how many wins we're going to have or anything, mm. but um, just being competitive. And uh, the wins will come if you do that. Like on the weekend, we'll be really competitive, tackled hard, and we've got to win. So yeah. hopefully we can keep doing that and get a few more Ws. Yeah.